with us since they were very small. They were little just like Angada right there is. They've lived with us since they were tiny. With those different wildlife, incredible opportunities to uh, meet them up close. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How's Angara today? Are you kabooing? Happy 4th of July guys. Um, so today we're just gonna have like a picnic and kind of chill out with some of the animals and the staff and enjoy some veggie burgers and hot dogs. Come along with us. <laughs> so these people! Oh my gosh, look at all these people! There's oh. <laughs> a big girl wagging her tail. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> she said it's a holiday, yo. <laughs> I want some water. What's up, Bob? Alright, Bubbles is in the water behind me, 
and she's about to show you her favorite game of all time. She created this game. Um, what she wants to do is she wants to pick people up and put them on her head. And then as soon as I'm up there, if she wants me to stay, she'll just be calm and she'll start petting me and talking to me. Um, and George, she actually just lays down and lets him on her back. Let's go have fun. You ready? Come on, George. You ready? up immediately and other times she just holds you there and kind of hugs onto you. Hi George. <laughs> Good girl Bob Bob. So of course the best thing is once she has you up here she wants you to jump off so she can pick you up again. It's kind of like she's a Labrador and I'm the ball. You ready? Are you ready George? So we're in the beautiful intercoastal waterway. We usually come down here about sunset because it's stunning and there's not too many boats out. You ready? Bubbles is nine feet tall. She's 9,000 pounds. She's as smart as a six-year-old kid. She loves this game. This is her game. Of course, if she doesn't want me on here, all she has to do is just shimmy and I'll fly. <laughs> this is one of her favorite things to do. I get out here, I rub her up. Oh, I feel so good. Yeah, you're such a good girl. So this is just a recreational waterway. This is about right behind me just going out for a good time. Sometimes they see the elephant. Sometimes they don't. They have no idea what I'm playing on. You ready? George is so excited. Oh, he fell. Good boy. What you want, big girl? You being good girl? <laughs> we call that the Tarzan. She is literally just the sweetest girl on the planet. Mwah. She is an ivory orphan. Her parents were killed for this, this silly tooth. <laughs> Good girl. Uh oh. Oh, for the sushi roll. There's 50,000 individual muscles in this trunk. It's the most complex organ in the animal kingdom. There's actually a huge hole right here in her skull that connects this trunk to her brain. So the relationship between the elephant and the dog actually started about 14 years ago when a Labrador was abandoned on the property. Um, we decided to keep her. She was just such a sweet little girl Labrador. Labrador. And we found out really quick the Bubbles thought the Labradors were the coolest animals on the planet. She has spent her whole life with dogs, mostly Rottweilers, but the Labradors are perfect for her in the water because they are insatiable just like she is. If it's too cold for us to go out, just her and her dog will go swimming by themselves. They love it so much. You ready for more? You ready for more, Bum Bum? Good girl. This is like playing with a tractor. <laughs> it's not really like, like playing with a dog. She has all of the control and she's just having so much fun. She can pick me up with ease. Um, 
one time for a show, they wanted her to push a school bus around. She did it with no problem. Where's your ball? Where's your ball, Georgie? Sometimes Bubbles hides the ball from him on purpose. It gets behind her ear and she holds that ear tight. Or sometimes she'll grab it with her trunk and just hide it underwater. That's just another little silly game that she likes to play with the dogs. Bubbles is as smart as a six-year-old kid, but she's been around for almost 40 years. The intelligence in her is mind-blowing. I don't think we're smart enough to test it. She likes to make it harder sometimes than other times, but I get a good workout out of it. So the trunk, of course, acts like a hand, but her tusks also act like a hand. The interesting thing about poachers going in and taking the big tuskers, is what they call them, is that they've almost eliminated the tusk deep. So basically what's happened is when they killed off the big males with the giant tusks, they killed the genes off. So smaller males that had smaller tusks were able to reproduce. Some of them had no tusk gene at all. Today, 35% of all African elephants born in the wild are born without tusks. If we can save them for long enough, there will be no more problem with the poachers. Fingers crossed. Oh, and today in Asia, 75% of all Asians are born without tusks. That's awesome, right? You ready? You ready? Woo! <laughs> Another very cool adaptation that elephants have is that with every step, their foot expands and contracts. That means when she steps in mud, she never gets stuck. It breaks the seal. If I step in mud in my boots, I gotta take the boots off or I'm staying there. <laughs> Some people think George kind of looks funny. Um, what I was told is that he's a northern lab. See how curly he is? This little boy is about six years old. You're a good boy, aren't you?
thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like it, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought about this big beauty and tell me what you guys want to see next. Thanks so much. And of course, subscribe. With us since they were very small. They were little just like Angada right there is. They've lived with us since they were tiny. Those different wildlife, incredible opportunities to uh, meet them up close.